the key is, is to be fair to all the automobile owners so they pay their fair share to fix the road. That from a state lawmaker this evening as vehicle, electric vehicle owners in Pennsylvania may soon be paying up for their eco-friendly car. Thanks for joining us for Fox 43 News at 5. I'm Evan Forrester. Proposed legislation in Harrisburg would require those who drive EVs to pay a yearly fee. Now the goal there is to make up some of the money that's being lost by these vehicle owners who are not paying their share of the state's gasoline tax. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz joining us live now from the state capitol in Harrisburg. And Alyssa, that gas tax money is what helps fund work for bridges and roads in the Commonwealth. Evan, that's right, and this is really just all part of these ongoing budget neg negotiations, and there is bipartisan support for this kind of bill. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisles agree that EV owners need to be paying something, but just how much is where they're not really seeing eye to eye. The current proposal is $290 a year, which would make that the highest EV, EV fee in the country. If you have an electric vehicle, it may soon be time to pay up. When I started this process, there might have been 5,000 electric vehicles. Now there's 10,000 electric vehicles. Uh, a lot of the manufacturers are saying they're not going to make gas cars anymore. So we are not going to have a way to fund our infrastructure. Pennsylvania's roads and bridges are funded through a state gas tax. The current rate of 61 cents per gallon is one of the highest in the U.S. Electric vehicle drivers, though, aren't paying it. You don't pay gas tax, obviously. You pay an alternative fuels tax. Well, it turns out most electrical vehicle drivers don't know about the alternative fuels tax and aren't paying it. That's why Republican Senator Greg Rothman is proposing a bill that would get rid of that tax, instead requiring all EV owners pay a flat rate $290 every year. That works out to what the typical Pennsylvania driver is paying in gas taxes, and that's why it's fair. The bill has passed out of the Senate and is now in the House. Democratic House Transportation Committee Chairman Ed Nielsen agrees EV owners need to pay their share but wants to see a lower price tag. We believe it should be much lower and uh, gradually work up as more of these EVs get on the road. He's put forth an amendment that would instead start the fee at $125, gradually increasing it to 225. The key is, is to be fair to all the automobile owners so they pay their fair share to fix the road. And we believe that's a, a fluctuating number. Representative Nielsen says some people may think a higher fee will help fix the state's infrastructure deficit. He doesn't believe that's true. PennDOT is short billions of dollars every year on fixing our infrastructure. And I'm afraid they're trying to use this as an excuse not to address that issue. Now, if this legislation is signed into law, this fee would have no impact on the federal tax credit that's already given to those people who buy electric vehicles. Representative Nielsen tells me he hopes that they can come to a resolution and have a bill sent to Governor Shapiro's desk by the end of this week. Reporting live in Harrisburg, Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.